So last week I reviewed the Xeon Crane, which is a three axis gimbal for mirrorless cameras like my Sony A6300, which I'm currently shooting on. I was that happy with the stability of it and just the things you could do with it that I decided to check out and get this right here, which is the Smooth C. Now this one here I picked up from a company called TomTop, got it for 169 US. So it's one of the cheaper three axis gimbals that you can get for smartphones here. And it's really just like the bigger model, but it's smaller, so more compact, more lightweight, and, and actually a lot easier to set up. So I'll show you what you get inside the box. So it comes well packaged up, but it doesn't have a hard case like you get with the Mirror DSL R version, which is called the Crane. You see you get some warranty card, instruction manual. Uh, this instruction manual is just a basic outline of everything, really. We need to put the batteries in and a quick start guide there. It also shows you the battery indicator. So the LED will flash there, telling you how much battery life you have left in the gimbal. It comes with two batteries. Now these batteries are odd ones, but you can get these online. They are 18350, 3.7 volts. And that's 900 milliamp hours each of those. Includes a little charger here with a micro USB cable for charging that. So you just need to use a charger that most people would have for your mobile phone. Just plug that in there. So very easy to charge those batteries. The other thing you get here is a counterweight. Now this counterweight is required if your mobile phone is bigger. So it's something like a Apple iPhone 6 or 7 Plus, then you'll need this, or a, a Galaxy Note 5 or something. And here is the gimbal, which is really well made. And it actually doesn't weigh too much. And you see it has the same joystick setup that the larger crane version has. In fact, the same exact layout. So the power on button is right here. There's the joystick status LED. And this right here is used for firmware updates connected up via micro USB. So all made out of alloy. On the bottom here is where we insert the batteries. And these batteries last for quite a long time. I mean, I've been using this for a couple of days now and I haven't actually needed to charge that up. But it's also gonna vary on you. So if you're doing something with a lot of motion, then those motors are gonna to have to work a lot harder and they will deplete the battery a bit quicker there. So getting set up is really easy and quick. So what you need to do is make sure you have the logo facing you the right way up because if I have this flipped around the other way, which is possible, that's not the right way up. So you just gotta make sure that that has the logo up. The Z is always facing the correct way and then simply just insert it like this, your mobile phone. Now this holder is very, very tight. Bit of a gap there because otherwise the rubber pad, the soft pad on the end there will block the microphone. And once you have that in, turn on the power and then hold down the button, holding it level. And then you'll see now it has come online and I'm able to move that around there. You see with those movements and it's keeping my mobile phone level there which is really good so the modes we have just to cycle through them the first you get is this mode that and uh, basically like a locked mode so it's always going to face in the same direction and you can rotate your wrist and it will slowly rotate around as well so you can do slow pans using that mode now tapping the joystick will bring up the other mode which gives us a left and right we can do left and right tilts sorry pans now, just like the larger version that I reviewed, the joystick is the same and has the same sensitivity. And just a little tip here, I found that if you put your other thumb on the other side to try and limit that motion, then you can do those very slow, steady pans there. And if I go back now into that locked mode, locked mode only allows you to tilt up and down your mobile. And finally, the third mode, if you double tap, allows you to adjust the tilt. Which is something I originally didn't see and I thought, hang on, it's not quite level the horizon, so how do I correct that? And it's just a double tap and then you can quickly tweak that and then get that level. So overall, the build quality is really good. So the weight of it without a mobile and there is 396 grams, which I find is perfectly acceptable because of the, the way the weight is distributed on the whole gimbal. And of course it's made out of this really high quality alloy. The construction of it and build quality is really, really nice. 
And as mentioned, there is that counterweight on there for larger mobile phones. So for example, here I have a Mi Note 2. It's a 5.7 inch mobile. This is heavier than my Samsung Galaxy S7, which doesn't require the counterweight, but this mobile does. And it's just a matter of fact of getting it and then just simply screwing that on the end of the arm, giving it that counterweight too. So it's countering the extra weight of that mobile there. And I found that, that it works fine and using the counterweight on there will help improve the performance and stability of the gimbal. It will also make sure that you're gonna get the maximum battery life because those motors won't have to work as hard with the extra weight of a larger mobile. Now the base of the gimbal also has a standard typical tripod thread here. So you're able to screw the gimbal onto other equipment so you can mount this on a tripod. If you want extra stability, use this on a tripod and then you can use the joystick and get some very smooth looking pan shots with it. So once you have your mobile in there, the only real adjustment you need to do is that's just a once off really, if you're gonna be using the same mobile that is, is just to tweak this one here. So adjusting the screw here, again, everything is tallest. Just need to adjust that and then move the position up or down of your mobile just to control the, the angle of it, to try and keep it a little bit level there. But really I've just set on the middle setting there and that seems to work perfectly fine. Just to point out too that in the pack there's this soft sponge stick on that you put around this part here. And what that does, that's actually gonna protect your mobile. So when you turn off the, the gimbal when it's not powered, it will go all loose and just flop down. It's to stop damaging your mobile. So it will just go and hit that rubber there instead of actually crashing against the, the alloy of the gimbal. So I'm gonna go out now and have a look around Denia with the gimbal in motion, get some shots and we'll have a look at what kind of performance and stability we can get out of using the Smooth C3 Access gimbal here for smartphones. Walking along as you can see at the moment and you can just see how rock solid this is because the front facing camera doesn't have any optical stabilization on this mobile. So you can see from that footage that I recorded and I'm just a, a novice when it comes to cameras, I am not a professional, you can get some, some nice footage out of it. Now my only real complaint about this gimbal here, the Smooth C, is the joystick. Just like the larger version, the Crane, I find that it's overly sensitive and it does take a lot to get used to without accidentally having your pan just too quick. I wish there was like a dial on there that you could set joystick sensitivity. You could just tweak that right down. And if you needed it faster for sports events or something, then you could just tweak it up again. So if they had that option on there or maybe just software or a way to connect up and, and dial that down, that would be really good. Now the build quality is excellent. The battery seems to, at least with my use now, it seems to be lasting for quite some time. And the charger is tiny, so it's gonna be easy enough to be able to charge that using your mobile phone charger. So that is good. And the portability of it, because it's a lot smaller than the larger crane version, which is for mirrorless DSLR cameras, this thing here is so easy just to slip in a bag. And the setup is literally only 10 seconds. Put my mobile in there, it's still with the same position from before, and away I go. Turn it on, power it up, and it's working fine. And you see there that's the, the stability it offers, especially 
when you're walking, the only thing that gives it away that the shot is walking and you're not being pulled along on some sort of dolly or you're standing on a, on a skateboard or riding a bike is the fact that you're moving up and down. That's the only thing. And if your mobile phone has really good stability anyway, digital or optical, then that's even going to help out further with creating some really nice professional looking steady footage, which is going to be great for people with uh, smaller children. They can follow them around when they're playing and just have better looking footage overall in general with this gimbal and I find that the price of about 169 US that's actually not too bad considering what you are getting here because there's a lot of other options out there that are a lot more expensive. Thank you so much for watching this review and hopefully I will catch you back in the channel soon. If you haven't already, why not think about subscribing to the channel too.